Hey everybody, John from Peppy Kitchen here. Today we're making a classic pomegranate martini and one with a twist because mixology is fun. This drink is so delicious. It's kind of crazy because you don't taste the vodka. So watch out, things get dangerous. Let's get started. For our classic pomegranate martini, we're gonna have a shaker filled with ice. So just dump it right in. Adding ice to your cocktail makes it cold, but it also dilutes it to the proper amount because believe it or not, having straight alcohol isn't always the most delicious thing. The water makes a big difference. Ask anyone that drinks whiskey and orders a water back. We're gonna have two parts vodka, two parts pomegranate juice, and you can use fresh pomegranate seeds and juice them yourself, but I find that very few people have time for that, especially when you're trying to have a cocktail at the end of the evening. Mm, nice and tangy. One part Cointreau. You can use any orange liqueur you'd like. I do not suggest triple sec though, that is not the best flavor. And half a part lime juice. I'm gonna add in the juice of most of half of a lime, just to be exact about it. Seal it up and make sure your cap is around. Okay, give it a good shake. All done. It's a popular drink because it's so easy and there's nothing that's really gonna expire super fast in it. Also has a beautiful color. I used my smaller jigger because I wanted to not be completely drunk while I'm filming this video. It's so nice. Oh my God, it takes me back to college. <laughs> this is one of my drinks. <laughs> it's really nice. There's a great balance of acidity and sweetness and the vodka really doesn't come to the front too much. So it's pretty dangerous. We're gonna try this out almost the same, but we're gonna add a couple extra twists. So once again, two parts vodka. There we go. Full pour. One part Cointreau. And we're gonna slip some Chambord in there, a little bit of raspberry liqueur for France. Okay, there we go. If I poured cream in this drink, you would be totally fine unsubscribing forever. I would not do that to you. Okay. Last step is a little, little bunch of mint. We're not going to muddle it. It's gonna get muddled by the ice in this drink and I think it'll bring a bit of like a botanical nose to it. All right. Fill it up with ice, close that shaker back up. Wait a second. No, no, no. The lime juice, that's very important. Okay, squeeze half of a lime into there. Now, give it a shake. Perfect, my hand is ice cold. Pour it out. Very similar in color. I'll be here all day, people. Okay. And now for the taste test. Okay, here's the deal. That's good, but it's a sweet drink. That's not a bad thing though. Some people love sweet drinks and they don't want anything else. This is for you. That little splash of Chambord really made a difference. I'd go for the classic that's on the blog. That's just me. Um, you know, we should probably garnish these. So I'm gonna do a really quick and easy one. Just a big slice of lemon peel. Use a sharp knife and cut along the lemon until you have a goodly amount. <laughs> and then just plop it into your drink. Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> it's like an iceberg. Um, no. Cut a goodly amount of lemon peel and then just take your drink and plop it in. I think that looks pretty. It's so easy. You don't have to have any cocktail picks or anything and the lemon will infuse it with a delicious little, little something extra. If you like this video, check out my How to Make a Paloma. It is a classic tequila based grapefruit cocktail that you will absolutely love. It's perfect. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.